Good day, human Latios Aids. So this is Latios Azuril, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Ultra Sun Island Mock. Here we are in Melee City. Last time we checked out the Aether Paradise. This time. Well, actually, this time we have to go pick our new team for uh, Ula Ula Island. So, you guys have voted, and the votes are in. It was actually really close between Fairy and Ice, but we did have a deciding voter choose Ice. So for Ula Ula Island, we're going to be using Ice-type, which is definitely something different for me. I, uh, I haven't used too many Ice-types lately, to be honest. Now, I'm thinking, um, well, do you know that Ice-type actually was, it used to be my favorite type for a while. It was back, I think, around... Earlier generations. <laughs> it's been for a while, though. I, I do prefer water. Um, I, I actually prefer a few types over ice now, to be honest, but uh, I, I used to really like the ice type. I still do really like the ice type, to be fair. It used to be my favorite, though. We have presence. We have presence. That can be good. We have hustle. Um, I don't know if we have aerial ace or not, but that can be really good when combined with hustle. We also have a crab roller. Now, this is not, um, I don't know if we can get, apparently we can evolve it sooner in this game than we could in Sun and Moon, from what people are telling me, but I don't know exactly how soon we can. Um, I, I'm not totally sure. That said, we do have to go catch some more Ice-type Pokemon in order to fill up our team. Now, I know that we can go get a, um, an Alolan Vulpix, but we can't do that until we... Well, we go further on Ula Ula Island. So I might actually just keep a blank slot in our team for that. I know I use an Alolan Ninetales in Ultra Sun uh, for Pony Island since we did have the uh, the fairy type. But, I, I mean, Alolan Vulpix is one of my favorite ice type Pokemons of all. It's my, definitely my favorite Alolan form. Uh, so, of course, if this were Ultra Moon, then we'd be able to get an Alolan Sandshrew. To become an Alolan Sand Slash. Also, we're not going to be able to evolve it until pretty late on Ula Ula Island because you get the Ice Stone. Unless they gave you one sooner, I don't know. But I know in Sun, you got the uh, Ice Stone from uh, Po Town. That said, we have to go catch some more Ice type Pokemon. We do have an Eevee that I could turn into an into a Glaceon, but once again, we're kind of limited on when we can evolve it. So I could just have an Eevee for a long time, which I could do. I don't have anything against that, but. Um, I think what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to head to Seaward Cave. I know that's where we got our Delibird. Maybe we can catch some more, um, Pokemon that can be of use to us. So, let's go. Yeah, we're not going to do too much actual exploring on uh, Ula Ula today because... We have to go get our new team. Then we're probably... I'm probably going to have to grind them off screen. I, I don't know if you guys want to watch me uh, doing that much uh, training. Of course, we're going to have to go back down into the grass. Which means we're going to run into something here. Alright. And we are running into... Cutie Fly. Reminding me that... Uh, we are not able to use you because Fairy was not chosen. Sorry, cutie fly. Sorry. Alright. Now, I know there are a few ice-type Pokemon that we can use here in, um, Seaward Cave. So, Smoochum is an option. Smoochum is definitely an option. Um, I'm gonna kill this thing if I don't if I, if I weaken it, aren't I? There's no way I don't kill this thing if I weaken it. Do we have Quick Balls? We have Quick Balls. Yes, we have some Quick Balls. This is probably the way this is going to end up going down today. Just spam Quick Balls, because... Never mind, that's not working. Powder Snow. Of course you're going to go for the quad effective hit on us. I bet you freeze us. No freezing. Okay, no freezing us today, but... I only have six Dusk Balls. I, I can't weaken you. You're too weak. 
you're, you're too weak. I, I can't weaken you. How am I supposed to catch you? Um, you're gonna call for help, aren't you? All right, if something shows up, um, gonna have to actually drop this. You know what? You know what? I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm not gonna mess around with this Moochum here if it's gonna call for help. I'm actually going to give something False Wipe. Unless nothing can learn False Wipe. Um... Robin can learn False Wipe. You've gotta be kidding me. Maybe I should just give up Astonish. I mean, if we ever became a Decidueye, then we, we would no longer have it, but... Oh, that stab. But then again, we'd have... We, we, we'd have the, uh, the, the... We'd have stab anyway. Because we'd be fine. Um... Kind of a shame we don't have Aerial Ace as a TM. Pretty sure it's still a TM, it's just we don't have access to it. So I'm gonna give up Astonish. In favor of False Swipe here. Because it doesn't do enough damage anyway, let's be honest. And Sucker Punch, it probably fills the same niche. So, yeah. Alright. Plus, we do have that Nevermount Ice that could be useful for us if, um, for the Ice-type team. Alright. Psyduck. We have a Psyduck, and it is not Ice. Therefore, not totally helpful for us, I suppose. Alright. Also, we do have the uh, Move Tutors that could really help us out if we do some more Mantine Surfing and whatnot. Alright. What else can we find here? Another Psyduck. Okay. I'm trying to think, what are other ice type Pokemon we could have? Uh, I mean Smoochim is here, as we saw. Um, what else? We have a Delibird. We have... We do have a Crab Roller. Oh, the one thing I might do is I actually might catch another Crab Roller at, at a higher level. So it's a little bit less grinding to do. I, I don't know. Kind of depends. Mostly because there's no rule against catching two of the same species. I mean, I'm okay with using punches, to be fair. But... Scan 10 Pokemon, you can use Io and Scan. Uh, yes, I am aware of that, Rotom. In fact, I've done that. In fact, I got something in this very cave. So, yeah. Alright. Quick Ball is probably not gonna work. I'm just gonna straight up Ball Swipe. That'll bring this down to one. You're gonna... Don't you dare para. Oh my god, how do you get the para like that? Oh, that was quick. Okay, Robin, nice job. Let's Dusk Ball it. Actually, I don't think we need a Dusk Ball at this point. We have 60 Pokeballs, might as well use them. I mean, that thing is at 1 HP. 1 HP, this, thing, this thing's gonna get caught. There's no way it doesn't get caught at 1 HP, come on. Like I said. Like I said, that thing is getting caught. Alright, good job, Robin. Alright. Smoochum's data is added to the Pokedex. Alright. Cool. Um, I am going to evolve you as soon as I possibly can. Alright. Because... I'm not the biggest Jinx fan in the world, but I don't really dislike Jinx as much as I used to. Um, hashtag gold, silver, cage lock. But, um, Smoochum is still a little bit less, I don't know. I, I, I really don't know, but 
Uh, hmm. It's a good name for a Jinx or Smoochum or whatnot. Uh, um, you know what? Let's call you... Icy. Sure, why not? What's your nature, by the way? <laughs> oh, and so it begins. And so it begins. Okay, Icy. Okay. Alright, you have the worst possible nature, it's good to know. You know, I can run a physical jinx. I mean, elemental punches are a thing. Or I could just catch another smoochum. That's another possibility. <laughs> that I'm not going to totally uh Yeah, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Icy. But yeah, that that definitely, uh, that, that definitely hits where it hurts. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, you can stop ducking it, Psyduck. It's okay, you can, you can leave me, uh, well alone for the time being. Alright. Oh, Rotolato. What do we get? We are getting! Ooh. Is that a cap? Is that a Roto Catches? Roto Encounters. It helps you run into high level wild Pokemon more often. Okay, you know what? Let's try that out. Alright, so, high-level wild Pokémon. Not totally sure what that means, but... Smoochum appeared. I'm assuming this thing is level 10 still. Level 12? Huh. Interesting. So this is like the anti-repel? Uh, anti um, what else? So this just raise the levels of Pokemon then, I guess. I guess I can just raise the level of wild Pokemon. Because Pokemon that were level 10 before are now level 12. So this I mean, I guess you're trying to train up Pokemon that you're gonna cat you're trying to catch Pokemon you're about to train. This could be useful. Oh, it doesn't seem to increase the chances of finding rare Pokemon. Maybe, I don't know, is Delivered rare? I mean, we have a Delibird. I could have sworn there was at least something else in here other than Psyduck, um, Delibird, and, uh, and Smoochum. Hmm. Huh. Well then. I mean, I could catch another Smoochum at this point, just because it'll be level 12 instead of 10, and it'll inevitably have a better nature. I think any nature is a better nature, to be honest, than Adam in for a Smoochum. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, I mean, I I'm usually not that... I usually am not that particular about natures, but it literally has the worst possible nature. <laughs> Adam 
Poison's not a bad nature. It's just, it's bad for a Jinx. Anything else here? Another Smoochum. You know what? I might just catch this one. Forewarn. Um. I, I kind of feel like Oblivious might actually be a better nature. Although, yeah, because I mean, when am I strategically going to use Forewarn other than I guess I. I mean, I guess it could be useful in terms of being able to predict what the opponent's going to do, but. I don't know. Alright, you should at least have a better nature, so you know what? Whatever. Sweet kiss. Okay. Sorry, Robin. But you're gonna have to attack anyway, so we're good. Oh, you're gonna seriously call for help right now? And I'm pretty sure help is guaranteed to arrive because you're, like, at low health. No, wow, okay. Never mind. Never? No, no, not Roto Boost. I don't reason at Roto Boost. I can just straight up Pokeball it. You're in the red zone. You're gonna stay in this ball. I know you're gonna stay in this ball. But it's not even a guess, that's a fact. Fact is, you're staying in that ball. So there we go. We caught another Smoochum, which is inevitably going to be, uh, I guess, um, that. So let's call you Sweet. All right. All right. Do you have a better nature? You know what? Gentle's a better nature still. It's still a better nature. I'll take it. I will take it. You're not modest. I don't even care. I, I don't even care. Sweet. Welcome. Okay. Nothing Nothing personal against Icy. It's just... Icy's nature was terrible. And it's not like I didn't have the, avail the ability to catch something else. It's not like it's a Nuzlocke or anything where we're constrained to the first encounter. So, and it's also not even a rare Pokemon, so, I mean, there was really no reason not to just catch another one in this particular circumstance. Also, I don't really feel too bad for Icy because of the Smoochum. Alright. So... Maybe there's just nothing else here. I could have sworn there was a seal here. But you know what? Maybe I'm mistaken. There's a Zubat here. Not that that's very helpful. But at least that confirms we haven't seen everything here. Although Zubat's really rare, I guess. Interesting. I'm all for that. I'm all for Zubat being rare. I have nothing against that. I mean, um, we have, we, we have a potential Jinx, we have Delibird, we have Crab Roller, we only need one more Ice type, technically. Crab Roller does evolve into an Ice type, so we can use it. Uh, hmm. Then again, you know what, we can get an Alolan Vulpix and we'll be set. So I think we're actually good. What other ice types are Wait a minute, can we get a Mora in this game? I know we can buy fossils in Kony Kony, I'm not sure which fossils. If we can get... if we can get that... Then... That would be another ice type and we're set. I think we might actually be in good shape. Alright. In that case, let's get out of here. So many Psyduck. 
so many Psyduck. But you know what? We haven't actually done any... I don't think we... I don't remember if we, I don't think we did any exploring Kale Bay since we got la the Lapras Surf. So you know what? We can actually go back... We can go down to the bottom and just explore down there again. Or, like, should I say explore there a little more thoroughly, potentially? Because I think there might be some items there that could be useful for us. Possibly. I don't know. So, you know what? Let's do that. All right. Time is almost up for... Oh, hey, there's an item here. How did I never realize that item was there? I guess it is well hidden, to be fair. Alright. All of these Psyduck. But we have a Psyduck. I mean, I guess it could be good. I just usually run Z-Crystals on Pokemon. For in-game teams, that is. Alright. Also, we have to figure out which team member is going to stick around for Ula Ula that we have now. I mean, I could just bring something completely new in, but honestly, I like the team we have. I don't want them to all have to leave at the same time. That would be sad. So, hmm. All right. One final smooch him to to greet us out the door. Smooch him. It's been it's been real. Okay. Well then. Might as well keep on looking until Rotom runs out of time, and then we can move on, I suppose. Alright. This has been fun. Alright, you know what? I guess that's pretty much it at this point. Zubat again, and I guess we're done. <laughs> Alright. Fair enough. Let's let's go move on to Kale Bay. Run power we're off. No thank you, we're good. Okay, and one final side up. So yeah, Rotom Encounter, I guess, literally just raises the level of wild Pokemon. And I maybe it just maybe it makes them a little more common. I don't know. You wanna read the letter in the bottle. If you're reading this letter, please find a um a way to deliver it to my little sister. She lives in Icky Town on Melly Melly Island. This place where I am now is really weird and looks unbelievable, but all the people here have been really nice, so I'm okay. I hope I'll see you again someday. Be safe, your big brother. We should probably find the, uh, sister? You need your prize What do you want to use your prize money for? Eh, I'm okay with either. Items or clothes, both. Alright, Rotom. What is our next, uh... Lotto gonna give us. And it is! Berries? HP restores. Okay. You know what? I'll take it. That's cool. That's cool. I wonder if we'll meet again some... Uh, meet again tonight. Oh, I can't wait until the sun goes down. Creep. Alright, so let's move on. Um, oh, okay, fishing. Nothing seems to be biting. What is here? I thought it was an item before, whatever. All right, so, um, it is wishy-washy. 
Oh, hey, it's a magic or... All right. Uh, I don't really think I have much use for a Magikarp. No offense, Magikarp, but I don't really... I'm not going to be able to use you on this island, so... Yeah, there's that. Um... Grass! Alright. So there's grass here, and... Oh, hey, it's a young goose. It's a little young goose. Yeah, I already did normal, so you are not um going to be on a team for now. Alright. There is an item down here. Yes, we found a prism scale. So you know what? If there were Feebas here, that would be quite nice. But alas. Alright. Oh, hey, it's Bagon! I mean, it's not going to be calling a manse here because, well, we're on the bottom, but... You know what? You know what? Just in case you guys end up picking Dragon for Pony. Obviously, you can't pick Flying because we already did that. But just in case, you know, I mean, it can't hurt to have this in the, in the PC for the time being, so... There we go! I'm pretty sure that's the rare encounter, too, so... Nice! Alright, cool! Alright. Let's name you... Um... Um, 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 uh, let's call you, uh, hmm. Um, Bam. All right. So Bam can go to the, uh, by the way, are you... What's your nature? Are you a, spe a special physical... Ooh, lonely. That's not bad. It's really not bad. For immense. You know what? Cool. This little D-dancing uh, salamence I guess we could get. Alright. Another place for us to fish, okay. Probably another Magikarp, but that's okay. Remoraid. Cool, I guess. Um. I mean, the only real use I would think you would have, for, I would have for a Remoraid in general, would be if I wanted to, for instance, evolve a. Uh, Mantike, but honestly, I'm, I'd be happy with a Mantike rather than a Mantine if I had one. Alright, but then again, neither of which I can use now anyway. Yeah, another magic card. Okay. Fair enough. So we know there's Remorade here and there's Magikarp here. Anything else? Probably another magic carp. Yep. Alright. So many magic carp! Too many magic carp! Alright, well. There is a TM right here, looks like. And it is Roar. I mean, it's not terrible, it's not useful, but whatever. All of this space, and for what? It's 
Like, what is the actual function of all the space here? Hyper potion. Cool. There's another little island over here. Maybe there's an item there. What is the purpose of this little island here? Um, hmm. Well. Huh. Well. Let me guess, another Magikarp? No, another Remoraid. Well, you know... You know, if we keep if we keep fishing, inevitably we might end up finding a shiny one day. Um, except this isn't Gen 6, so probably not very likely. But you know, you never know. You know that you never know. And that which you know cannot unknow. Cannot unknowingly be unknown. Because it's known. Alright, so Wishy washy. Hmm. Interesting. Can't use you either, although if I ever use water type, you, you could be useful. Whatever. Last, I'm calling this last reel. This is the final reel. I'm done fishing. I'm done fishing. Alright. And finishing with a Magikarp. That that makes sense. Makes sense. So if we can get if we can get Namora, that should be fine for us. Otherwise, I don't know. I really don't know if we if that's not an option. But let's go to Kony Kony City and see if we can do this. Because I think we can. I think we can restore it. Um, on Route Eight. I think. I'm not sure if it's a post-game thing or not. Alright, one per customer, and that's set in stone. Um... Now we got the jaw fossil. Unfortunate. <laughs> All right. In that case, um, that whole thing was moot to begin with. So, in that case, we are not gonna have the most powerful team we could possibly have because, well, I mean, there's only so much we can do. So we have you, we have you, you, I'm sorry, um, I mean, it's not your fault, you were born that way, but, uh, you are the way you are, and the only other ice type we have, or potential ice type we have, is, well, you. So. I don't know how long I'm gonna have ZG in the team because I can't. ZG is not a bad nature for a Glaceon, but wouldn't be able to become a Glaceon for so long. So I don't even know for sure if I want to end up turning him into a Glaceon. But for now, that's the team we have. Now we do have to decide on. Um, now, once again, that doesn't mean that this team is permanent. Um. This team can change very easily. Uh, but... I need to figure out which Pokémon is going to be deposited into the PC from this team. Um, now, Whitney, you are powerful. And you're bulky. 
Uh, you don't hit as hard as some of our other team members, but then again, you are at a lower level. In fact, you are our lowest level Pokemon. In fact, the only Pokemon in our party under level 30. So unfortunately, you are going to be deposited. Um, Barks, you are also limited by <laughs> the worst possible nature for a Rockruff, but I'm okay with that because you were kind of an event gift Pokemon. So, I mean, you are what you are. Uh, but you're probably not the most useful member of our team for what we're going to be dealing with, because we're going to have some difficulties considering we have a, um, we, we have a new team coming in that are probably not the most prepared for things. Although we are going to have a more specialized team, although actually we're going to have a physical member because we are bringing punches in. Meaning we don't need a fighting type, theoretically. But then again, like, our whole team has fighting coverage except for Barks and, well, and Robin. So it's kind of funny that that's the case. So it's going to be between Cub, Woody, and Button. Now, I really feel bad. Button has been on the team for, since the beginning, pretty much. I mean, well, since we started catching Pokemon, Button has been such a good team member. We had that Z-Splash uh, quick attack thing going on. We had that fire punch coverage. Because we have fire coverage, and that's really big. I mean, we do have, we do have it on Barks, but Barks is being deposited. So we have that fire coverage, which is huge. We have the fighting coverage. Here we have flying, but we also have flying on Robin, so we don't really need flying per se, even though you are fully evolved Pokemon, so you have higher stats and whatnot. And theoretically, I think you can get Bullet Seed soon, although Robin has uh, Leaf Blade, so once again, kind of moot. Uh... So really, Woody has the same basic coverage as Robin and uh, um, and either Cub or Button combined, so... Woody's probably going to be deposited, even though you've been in the team so long. It's going to be between Cub and Button. Now, Button does have a higher attack, uh, is faster. Higher defense, even though you have Fluffy, so I mean, uh, there's there, there's that going for you. Although then again, that's a weakness to fire, which, once again, our team has a pretty bad weakness to fire. Uh, and so, I mean, ultimately, the problem we have with Button is the fact that Button is... Uh, I mean, we don't have to worry about Klutz because we have Normalium Z anyway. Although the all-up pummeling would be kind of nice, to be fair. Although I could always give that to Button anyway. Although if I did that, I'd no longer have Z-Splash. Jump Kick isn't without its risks because, once again, if it misses, you're probably going to faint. Hmm. When all is said and done, I think between Cub and Button, the better option is button. So, there you have it. Um, now, don't worry, these Pokemon will be, well, one of them will be returning, although it could potentially be Button, uh, but returning for the, uh, for the Pokemon League, meaning more grinding. Barks, kind of, even though Barks was the, uh, was the spare, but we'll decide there later. And as for everyone else, um, I guess we can bring them onto the team. So, welcome to the team, Presence Sweet, Punches, and ZG. Um, I believe Woody can also count for the flying team as well. Alright. So, yeah. Who would have thought we'd still have a Veneerior team at this point in the game? <laughs> huh. Funny how things work, isn't it? 
So I guess for next time, I'm going to have to do some grinding for our team so they can get up to par. So we'll be able to do some work here. Now, I don't know how long ZG is going to be on the team. Probably around until the point where I can get a, uh, an, an Alolan Vulpix or whatnot. So we can get another Ice type for our team. Since technically we should be using an Ice type, but we can't until we get to the... I think like I think it's like Mount Lanakiel or something where you can finally evolve your Eevee into Glaceon. So that's probably not going to end up happening. And since we can't get the Extreme Evo boost until post game, unless they change that, ZG's probably not going to be in the team very long. <laughs> but Presence uh, Sweet and Punches are uh, our new uh, team members at the very least. And you never know who else might join the team as we go on. So, thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time when we start doing some actual exploring around Lula Ula Island. And I guess we're going to head to Melee Garden. Goodbye.